So now let's learn how to identify a discrete probability distribution. So remember that a probability distribution of a discrete random variable is a table or a graph or a formula which provides all the possible values of the random variable and their corresponding probabilities. So we saw that just on the previous page. We saw that we could give it to you in a table form right here or in a graph form. And there are some that actually can be found with formulas that don't need table or graphs. We'll see those in another section, section 6.2. All right, now the rules of a discrete probability distribution are, follow the same rules that we have for probability distributions in general, which is that the sum of the probabilities must be equal to 1. Right? So the sum of all the probabilities must equal 1. They have to add up to 1. With a relative frequency distribution, empirical probabilities, it's not the end of the world if it goes to 0.999 because of rounding error, but in general, they should be 1. And then all the probabilities have to be between 0 and 1. Right? You cannot have any negative probabilities, nor a probability that's bigger than 1. So all probabilities are positive or not negative if you want to say, positive and less than 1. Sometimes instead of positive, a lot of times I'll write not negative. <laughs> right? You can't have a negative probability. Right? That would be bad. It doesn't exist. All right, so let's look at these four distributions and let's determine which ones satisfy those rules. Now you'll notice these are all discrete probability distributions. I can tell because the x variables for all of them are whole numbers with no decimals and I can list them out. They're countable, that kind of thing. So that's why they're discrete. But as to why they're valid probability distributions, that's all about the probabilities. All right, so the first thing I want to check is that they add up to 1. So let me check the first one in decimals. So it was 5 out of 10 plus 3 out of 10 plus 1 out of 10 plus 1 out of 10 and sure enough that adds up to 1. Right? It makes 10 out of 10. So the sum here is 10 out of 10. Alright, that's great. So then I've got number 1, probabilities sum to 1 and there's no negative probabilities. Probabilities. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that word's a long word. There you have it. There's no negatives and they add up to 1. right? And if they add it up to 1 then there's no way any of these are bigger than 1. That's why I just have to worry about the not negative part. That's key. right? So honestly, if they add up to 1, then all you got to look for is make sure there's no negative in there. All right, letter B is really easy. I don't even need to check it. I know that the sum is 1. I can see. And all these other probabilities are 0. That's OK. It just means they're 0. You know, worse things have happened. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to write this with the symbols. The sum of the probabilities is 1. All your probabilities are between 0 and 1. Done. So if you want to write it with symbols, then that's fine, but you have to write all those symbols, right? The sum of the probabilities is 1. A lot of students just write the sum equals 1, which is a little weird because you're not saying the sum of what. So you should say the sum of the probabilities is equal to 1. I don't do it down here because down here it's at the bottom of the probability column, so it's implied. But over here, when you're writing it, you should say what it's the sum of. All right, so these are both valid. So this one's valid. This one's good. This one's valid. I'm going to bet the other two are not. <laughs> so, um, And they're not. I can see C is no good. C's got a problem right here. That's not valid. And I'm done. I don't have to check anything else. You cannot have a negative probability. It is a big no-no. It's impossible. So you're done. Next, let's add these values up. Um, and I can already tell you it's not going to work, but um, I can see it. <laughs> but that's all right. 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2. Whoop, 
plus 0 0.1. Ah, even worse, right? 1.2, no good, right? So the sum at the bottom of this column is 1.2. So this is not valid. Forgot to circle that. Not valid because the sum of the probabilities, I'm just going to abbreviate that, is not 1. And it's not even close, right? It, it, and for these problems, it really needs to be 1, exactly 1. There shouldn't be any type of errors. It should just be 1. And if it's not 1, then it is not a valid probability distribution.